welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i am jamie thanks for stopping by and i would love to have you as a subscriber so think about hitting that red subscribe button today i'm bringing you guys along as i clean out purge declutter my master closet or mine and my husband's master closet um it's the beginning of september and with the beginning of fall coming up here soon i just get that feeling that i want to clean just like kind of how you get it when it comes to spring cleaning i want to clean up my closet and i've noticed that i don't really wear a majority of the clothes that i have in my closet i just tend to wear the same things over and over and over so i thought it's time to go through it get rid of stuff purge to make me feel better so that is what i'm going to be doing today i'll be guys bringing you guys along so i'm going to be going through everything and um, i'll also be giving you the tips and kind of my plan and what i'm you know the direction i'm going while i do this while i'm going through everything so i hope you guys enjoy this let's get started so as you can see i have a lot of shoes it's a big old pile of shoes i need to figure out how to organize those a little bit better because this is definitely not working and yes i like a organized house but not everything in my house is organized so you are seeing one of my secrets because this is obviously a mess i have more summer type shoes over here again a mess and more shoes so me going through this this is kind of or a lot that's a, a big mess that I need to go through and then I as you can see I just have so many clothes so many clothes and like I said I just tend to wear the same things over and over and over so we're gonna go through these and get rid of hopefully a lot of things over here is my husband's area um, I'm not gonna touch that right now I'm gonna let him take care of that but I'll just be focusing on this one of the main pieces I got to organize all of my shoes was an over-the-door shoe organizer. I love using these in all areas of my house, but this was perfect for all of my work shoes and my boots and just nicer type shoes. And I know that it looks like I have a lot of the same color shoes, but I bought other bright color pairs of shoes that are so cute and I just find that I don't wear them very often, so I kind of stick with the neutral colors and I end up wearing all of them. The shoe organizer was about $10 from Walmart. For all of my flip flops and sandals, I found this basket that I had from the Dollar Tree just um, sitting around in one of my closets. So it was perfect just to throw all of these flip flop and sandals into this little basket. You know, I only wear these a part of the year, so I really don't mind sticking it in the back corner of my closet. In order to have a very successful declutter and purge of my closet, I was keeping some main things in mind while I was going through all of my clothes. Did I already have something like it, like the same color? Here you can see I have two basic tees in the same exact color, so why keep both of them? Got rid of one of them. I had thought about if I wore the piece of clothing recently, and this is a dress I wore to a really good friend's wedding about 10 years ago. I haven't worn it since, so I got rid of it. I thought about how difficult the piece of clothing was, and this is a dress where I have to wear a special bra because it's more open in the back. It's too difficult for me in my life right now, so I just got rid of it. I made sure to try on a lot of the clothing pieces to see how they fit me, and this was a particular dress that I thought showed a little bit too much up at top and bottom, something I'm not comfortable with wearing now, so I'm gonna donate it. If you're on the fence with a piece of clothing that you don't know if you want to keep or not, don't be afraid to ask a friend or spouse, boyfriend, whatever it is. Um, I pulled my husband and my daughter in to check out this sweater dress. My husband liked it and my daughter loved how soft it was, so I decided to keep it. Try not to 
keep pieces of clothing just for sentimental value. These were two very old t-shirts that I had worn back in high school. One was from our powder puff game and the other one was from my class, senior class trip to New York City. Obviously you can tell these t-shirts are very worn and I was holding on to them because they represent a very happy, fun time in my life, but not something I need to keep around now. I tried to hold a lot of the pieces of clothing to see how they made me feel and how much I really love them. And if I really got a strong response and I really loved the shirt or the piece of clothing, I kept it. The next step was to go through all of my flats. So I purged some and the ones I wanted to keep, I just lined up real nicely on the closet shelf. And I know you guys are probably thinking that I have a ton of shoes, but I promise you I wear all of these, especially with work, I'm on my feet a lot. And I find that if I wear the same shoes over and over, they really get beat up. So I like to have a variety so I can mix and match and I don't go through them as quickly. I next went through all of my scarves and these are something that I've really built up and kind of collected over the past couple years so I really was able to get a rid of a lot of scarves that I don't wear anymore. I organized and hung them using shower curtain rings on a hanger and they drape nice nicely and I can see all of them so I know which one to grab in the morning. All of my tall boots, like my riding boots and rain boots, I hung using a special hanger with the clips on it so I can line those up and they're off of the floor. The last part in all of this organization was I went through all of my pants, like my pajama pants, my yoga pants, jeans, and all of that. So that was nice because I was able to get rid of a lot that I just don't wear anymore. I think a lot of people tend to collect a lot of jeans, which I do, and there's ones that I just don't wear I've had for years. So I got rid of the ones that I haven't been wearing. Other things that I kept in mind as I was going through this declutter and purge of my closet was I try to work very quickly and I thought about would I actually buy it today because if it's not something I would buy today then I got rid of it. I also wanted to make for sure that it fit correctly and the upkeep wasn't that difficult. You know I had some shirts that just got so always so wrinkly and most of the time I don't have time to iron or deal with that in the morning. So if it was a piece, piece of clothing that was just too difficult, then I got rid of it. I downsized. So I just kind of separated it because I have plenty of room by my summer casual tanks and tees, some nice work type shirts, um, summer shirts. These are kind of in between three fourth length sleeves um some sweaters these are my tunics that i wear with leggings in the winter and then some more of my summer shirts um and then a few dresses and suit stuff um for like interviews and stuff so i got that and then please ignore the right side <laughs> that is my husband's that he needs to go through so i have comfy bed sleeping pants some yoga pants and jeans. So I have like colored jeans here. Um, these are just my everyday basic jeans. And then um, wide leg jeans. And this is my game day. We're big college football fans here. So game day attire. And then shoes organized. Boots organized. And then all of my flats are here and the, these are just a few little jackets dress pants and cardigans so there's all the hangers that I got rid of so feels good for sure here is the aftermath of my purge so clothes scarves shoes purses so we'll see how much my husband Mike gets to add to this.
Here's the aftermath. This is what we are getting rid of after our declutter. We are going to donate all of this and it just feels so good all around. I know going into this, I kind of wanted that minimalistic mindset and I know I still have a lot of shoes and clothes. So it's not truly minimalistic, but I, I had that mindset in mind when I was going through all of it and I'm very happy with what I've gotten rid of. So we will donate these and um, it feels good. And I hope you guys have the motivation to go out and declutter some area in your house. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your guys' support. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and I will do more like it. And I will see you guys next time.